Have a good day. Our devotion for today is about believing the unbelievable. Would you be more amazed at the presence of the angel or at his message? In Luke 1, 18-22, Zechariah said to the angel, How can I be sure this will happen? I'm an old man now, and my wife is also well along in years. Verse 19 Then the angel said, I am Gabriel. I stand in the very presence of God. It was He who sent me to bring you this good news. Verse 20 But now, since you didn't believe what I said, you will be silent and unable to speak until the child is born for my words will certainly be fulfilled at the proper time verse 21 meanwhile the people were waiting for zechariah to come out of the sanctuary wondering why he was taking so long and verse 22 when he finally did come out he couldn't speak to them. Then they realized from his gestures and his silence that he must have seen a vision in the sanctuary. Zechariah was amazed. He could hardly believe the message of the angel. Are you sure? He asked. Both my wife and I are old now probably too old to have children of our own the angel replied I am the angel Gabriel and God has sent me with this message all this will happen as I have said but as you cannot believe me until that time you will lose your voice the people outside the temple praying were worried. Zechariah had been inside for a long time. But when he came out, unable to speak, they realized he had seen a vision. A little while later, Elizabeth told him that she was expecting a baby. When told he would have a sign, Zechariah doubted the angel's word. From Zechariah's human perspective, his doubts were understandable. But with God, anything is possible. What God promises, He delivers. And God delivers on time. You can have complete confidence that God will keep His promises. Their fulfillment may not be the next day, but they will be at their appointed time. If you are waiting for God to answer some request or to feel some need, Remain patient. No matter how impossible God's promises may seem, what He has said in His Word will come, will come true at the right time. Let us pray, forgiving and loving Father. Thank you for this wonderful day. Lord, teach us to see with the eyes of faith and uh, trust you to do great things, O oh God. Lord, help us that when times we will doubt, we will come to you 
and we will pray to forgive us and help us to pray continually Lord God to come to your presence O God and to trust O God your promises and indeed all things are possible with you O God thank you so much in Jesus name Amen